Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and today I would like to explain to you a feature that we had in SharePoint for quite some time already. Uh, the feature is called Document ID, so I would like to explain to you what it is, uh, as well as uh, highlight some of its benefits as you organize your documents in SharePoint Online environment. So what is a Document ID feature? Essentially, it's a feature that allows you to assign unique IDs, unique numbers to each and every document that you upload uh, to SharePoint. Uh, we, as I mentioned already, we, we had this feature for quite some time and uh, the feature is actually automatically enabled if you provision your sites as document centers. However, uh, document center is kind of a legacy um, you know, type of site uh, that we no longer really utilize in modern SharePoint. I actually wrote a blog about it. Uh, so in modern SharePoint, we have modern sites, just like you see uh, on the screen right now. Um, it could be a regular modern site. It, it could be an Office 365 group site. It could be a communication site. In any case, uh, we, we no longer have, I guess, a document center built in uh, into those sites. So what that means is that we, we need to enable uh, and configure the document uh, ID feature manually. And that's exactly what I would like to show you right now. So um, there are several steps involved. Uh, there are pretty much like three steps involved in terms of document ID configuration. First of all, you need to enable the feature. All right, that's step number one. Step number two, uh, you need to configure it. And step number three, uh, you, you just need to display the document ID column uh, on the document library and I will explain to you what that means. Uh, uh, let's proceed with step number one. Uh, how do we enable document ID feature? Document ID feature is it's actually a site collection feature. So if you remember all this modern sites that we have, they are unique, you know, they're separate site collections, not subsites. But if you do have subsites in your environment, then um, that's fine. But you will need essentially you, you will you will need to enable document uh, ID uh, feature at the site collection level. And once you enable it uh, globally at the site collection level. Uh, the it will become available in all of the subsites uh, that you have in your uh, site collection. Now, in my case, and I expect in your case, uh, you know, to, to to be the same, right? You probably, you know, hopefully don't have a lot of subsites. Uh, you you hopefully you're utilizing flat site architecture um, with uh, you know with hub sites, with communication sites, Office 365 groups, and um, so in this case, you will just need to enable the document ID feature at each and every site, all right? at each and every site collection. There is no global uh, tenant level setting that will allow you to do that. You will need to enable uh, document ID feature at each and every site. So um, that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Uh, I have a modern site over here. It's a separate site collection. It happens to be not connected to an Office 365 group, but it could be, all right? Um, it doesn't really matter uh, for what we're trying to do. So first, let's go ahead and complete step number one. Uh, we need to enable uh, document ID feature. Here's how you do it. Gear icon, site information, site settings, and then under site collection features, just you need to find document ID service over here, you see, and you need to activate it. It usually takes a few seconds. So step number one is completed. We're done with step number one. We activated the feature. Uh, the second thing you need to do, though, is you need to configure it. All right, let me explain to you what that means. So once we once we enable the feature, uh, you probably did not notice, but we got this document ID settings entry over here. Let's click. And what you will see is... Um, you know, this page right here. This is, and by the way, this is kind of optional, but uh, let me explain to you the benefits of this uh, page. Uh, what you can do here is you can assign a, a pre prefix to for your document IDs. Uh, let me, by the way, maybe before we proceed, let me just first show you what we're trying to get to. Get to. This is what the document ID looks like. As you can see, it has a prefix, then some numbers, you know, after the prefix. So uh, what, what you can configure is this prefix uh, part over here uh, and essentially make it something that, you know, you, you know spell it out 
and, and make it something that you will understand, right? As you can see here, just throw some uh, random characters. So uh, in my case, I want to, you know, have a compliant site. So maybe I just want to have uh, something like this, you know, as a prefix uh, to, to, to all the numbers, all right, to, to all the numbers. So, um, and all you need to do is click OK here. Before I click OK, it actually tells you over here a kind of small font uh, that it takes, uh, it takes some, you know, uh, several hours usually for this document ID feature uh, to take uh, effect on your site. So what that means is that the documents that you upload to a, a SharePoint to a document library or existing documents uh, that you already have in a document library might not necessarily get the ID assigned uh, to them right away. Uh, there is a timer drop and sometimes it can take up to 24 hours uh, for it to take effect. Uh, and I, I will show you what that, you know, what this means uh, on, on the next screen. But here all we need to do is just, uh, is just uh, assign our prefix and click OK. Okay, here we go. And now step number two is completed. So we completed step number one, we activated the feature uh, and we just completed step number two, we configured it. Let's now go to our document library. As you can see, I already have some documents here. Uh, you will notice there is no document ID column or anything like that. Uh, it actually does exist behind the scenes, but what we need to do, we need to display it, right? We need to display it in our library. And all we need to do here is just Added the view. And here we go. Look at this. Once we activated those, uh, th this document ID feature, here it is. Uh, you know what? I'm going to change the order of it. I want it um, number three right after the file name. So I'm going to do that. And look at this. Here we go. Uh, as you can see, the column is, he is here, but that's exactly what I meant. Uh, if you notice over here, the, all the fields are blank, right? And that's something I mentioned uh, just a few minutes uh, previous, you know, uh, bef before this. Um, the reason it's blank is because because of this timer job. All right. Um, now we we have to wait, you know, several hours for for the timer job to to take effect. And essentially, uh, what will happen in several hours, you will see something like this where uh, where it does assign a unique ID uh, to all the um, you know existing documents in your library. Now, in our case, uh, let's go ahead. We don't have time to wait for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload some documents that I have on my machine um, right here. I'll just upload a few. Here we go. Perfect. Look at this. Look at this. So um, as soon as I uploaded the documents, they got the ID assigned. And this is, you might recognize this, this is the prefix that we supplied, right? All right, so now we have the, exactly what we want in terms of the um, the, the prefix, and here's the, the random ID that has been assigned to our documents. As I said, the other documents, um, you know, I obviously don't want you to sit here for several hours watching uh, my screen, but uh, trust me, in several hours, this will get filled out and it will pretty much look like this where all the documents will have a unique identifier, all right? Now, uh, so what are the benefits of using of using this uh, uh, document identifier, uh, document ID feature? There are several benefits you can take advantage of, all right? First one is you can search by this document ID, all right? Uh, now, this the way search works is kind of tricky. Uh, and it actually used to work much smoother uh, with, in classic SharePoint, with classic pages, but with modern search, you see if I go ahead and supply, a, you know, a, a document ID and try to search for it, let me try to spell it exactly like it is. All right, so I'm spelling it out, as you can see exactly you know trying to type the the number uh um you know the way it appears all right look at this i typed in this first row and unfortunately it doesn't find anything all right unfortunately it doesn't find the document how come all right well that's because because we are in modern sharepoint and unfortunately when you 
uh, when you, um, um, you know, you type in, even, even though I typed in this exactly like it is, you know, the, the document ID doesn't find it. What you need to do is you need to prefix it with the following characters. And hopefully I'm going to get the spelling correctly here, but the prefix has to be DLC doc ID. All right, so let me try it. DLC doc ID column. Look at this. All right, look at this. It found this document. It found this document that um, that has the you, 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 you know, it, 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 let me let me get rid of this now. It found this document, right? And the reason I it found it because I specified the prefix, DLC doc ID, colon, and then you know followed by the full document ID. All right. Uh, I know it's not nice. <laughs> I know it's uh, not that user friendly, but that's how it is. All right. So that's how you search. And by the way, the same. Uh, the same, you know, um, you know, if, if you are trying to do a global search, let me just prove it to you. Let me just grab uh, this number because I'm, uh, there is no way I'm going to remember it. So I, I just want to copy this number. So let's say, you know, I have no idea where the document is. All I know is just a, a document ID, you know, number. So even if you do like a global search from this main page over here, again, I'm going to do DLC doc id column and i'm going to do this and uh, look at this you see it found the document again it, and you know, it tells me which site it's on which library it is in uh so nice and convenient all right uh that's how the search works but you know hopefully it will be improved down the road but uh at the moment uh, at the moment you have to uh you have to um, um uh, supply this prefix all right so search is a benefit number one. Uh, the second benefit uh, only applies to Word documents. What you can do, you can actually embed the document ID right uh, on the Word document and you can actually kind of do it automatically. Let me show you. So for that, you need to open the document in the native app. You know, it, it, the Word Online will not work for this. You need to open the document in the native app. And um, once you open the document, uh, let's wait. Here we go. Uh, what you can do, you can do this. You can embed, you know, through quick parts, a document ID. So you, you click the insert, quick parts, document property, and look at this, document ID value. Look at this. It pulls the value, you know, right from the, um, right from SharePoint. All right. So nice and convenient. This obviously only applies to Word documents. Um, you know, I don't think you can embed the same uh, into PowerPoint or Excel, uh, but in case, you know, and this is this is a nice feature in case maybe you work outside of SharePoint, maybe you send the document, you, you know, to an external party and they send it back to you in some way in the footer or something, you have this uh, document ID embedded in the document. So that's that's really nice. Okay. Uh, another, another feature I want to show you that's, um, that, that's, awesome in my opinion is that um, another benefit of document ID is that if you move a document to another site it does keep the original document ID now uh, the the you know the major requirement for this is that the destination the destination site uh, also has uh, has to have the uh, d document ID feature enabled otherwise it will be lost all right during the move. So if you if you move the document, in other words, if you move the document to a site that does not have a document ID feature, unfortunately the document ID will be you know, it will be lost. If if you do have it, uh, in, in, you know uh, enabled uh, in both sites, uh, then the move will be just fine and the document ID feature will um, uh, you know the document ID will will uh, number will uh, will stay the same and you know the file will uh, will keep the number. Let me, let me demonstrate it to you. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, let me just maybe rename this file just because I have so many other files. So uh, let me doesn't really matter. Here we go. Perfect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this file 
to another site. Here is my other site. And by the way, this happens to be an Office 365 group site, uh, as you can see with its own uh, document ID feature with its own prefix. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this file to my other site, to administration site. So let's move it. Here we go. And let's see till it uh, generates a list of all the sites. Here we go. I'm going to move it to this site over here. And I don't have any other libraries, I guess, so no need to pick. And uh, here we go. It's moving the document. And let's see till it tells us. Yeah, it, mo it, it moved it. As you can see, it's gone from here. Let's go to our destination. Look at this. Here we go. The document arrived. And it does keep the document the document ID number uh, as it was on the previous site. All right, so that's that's very nice in my opinion, and very powerful feature. So again, you can um, this was the third kind of major benefit of document IDs, um, document ID feature. The first one was search. The second one was the ability to embed it in the Word document. And the third um, benefit is moving across sites. Again, the major requirement here is that the destination site needs to have a document ID feature enabled, um, uh, you know, for this to work. All right. So I think this is all I wanted to show you today as far as the document ID feature. Hopefully you learned something new and uh, new today. And um, uh, thank you very much for your attention and uh, looking forward to seeing you, seeing you again on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and ha have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.